Hey everybody, it's Nate and Steph from Explorers.life. We teach people how to build DIY campers. Welcome back to episode number 19 in our Ford Transit DIY camper van build series. In last week's video, we installed some 120 volt outlets in the van, and in this week's video, we're gonna be installing some scene lighting. So let's get started. Here's a list of parts you'll need for this project. Wire. Our 12 volt DC scene lights. A 12 volt relay. A single pole, single throw switch. Spade connectors. And lever nuts a source of power, a drill, drill bits, and deburring tool, Rust-Oleum paint, and some sealant, and some other various electrical and hand tools like we've talked about in other videos. These are the lights that we're going to be using in the, for the scene lights on the side of the van. We've got six of them. There's going to be two of them on each side and then two of them in the rear. And these are the Light Force Rock 9 utility lights, and they are super bright and pretty streamlined. So we'll show those off kind of once they're installed. But we have a fully completed lighting circuit right here um, that's nice and functional with our positive wire coming to our switch, from our switch to our positive wire of the light, and negative wire coming back to the fuse block right there. So this is the same lighting circuit that we've showed in previous videos. This kind of lighting circuit is really good if the wire run from the fuse block to the light has the switch, you know, just right in line so that you're not having to go out of your way to install the switch. But in the van, when we get all this installed, we're gonna have our fuse block up top and then our lighting up top, actually pretty close to the fuse block, sort of like this. But our switch is going to be up in the front cab area of the van. So that's why we want to introduce relays into this system. And that's pretty much what this tabletop demonstration is going to be about, is teaching you how to wire a relay and what you would use them for. Now this particular relay, it comes with a little bit of a wiring harness, if you will, for the back, and it just plugs in just like that. And what a relay does is, a relay is effectively just a switch that is controlled by another circuit. Now let's talk through how that actually works. So far, this is the basically step one of how a relay works. So very similar to a switch, got battery power coming into the relay and then out of the relay to the light. And then the negative wire would just be going past the relay to the light. Inside of the relay, very much like a switch, there is a piece that connects and disconnects the relay. And this is the circuit that actually tells the relay to open or close to power the light. So from the battery, positive power is coming up to power the relay. And then to close the circuit, it's coming down to the switch, back out, and back to the battery. So that's on paper how it works. But why would you need to do this? Let's say, for example, it's only from here to here is five feet. And let's say you wanted to have the switch mounted, I don't know, whatever, 30 feet away, something pretty long. If you were going to go from battery to switch, from switch to light, that's gonna be whatever quick math there, 40-ish feet, um, and then double that for the positive and negative conductors. So there's going to be um, a lot of wire that would need to do that. So if this is only five feet from there to there, to there, we might be able to use, let's call it 16 gauge wire, depending on, you know, for this particular light. But if we had to go 40 feet, 30 feet this way, and then 30 feet this way, five feet from there and five feet from there, 
you know, we may have to start using, let's call it 10 gauge wire to satisfy our voltage drop requirements. So by using a relay in this location, it may not necessarily mean that less wire always, sometimes it will, but more importantly, it means that we can probably use smaller gauge wire on all of these circuits because this circuit right here that controls the actual relay is carrying just a few hundred milliamps, like 200 milliamps usually, um, at the high side. And so it's not enough amps to really need to use big gauge wire. So if we are using the relay, this can also be 16 gauge as well, even though that distance is pretty far. Let's show how this is actually wired now. The relay has four wires on it, just like I showed. You've got red and blue, looking at the wiring diagram that actually came with the relay. You've got red and blue is going to be your load wires. Uh, the, the blue one is coming in from the battery, and then the red one is what is going out to power the light. And then for the trigger source, which is the switch, it is going to be the white is coming in from the battery, and then the black is going off to the switch. Now let's wire this together. And now we have our relay wired in and it is functioning perfectly. Get all this stuff up so we can see it. So what we have here is we have our positive and negative from our fuse block. Negative is just going straight through to the light. The positive wire is coming to the blue wire of the relay through the relay and coming out the red wire of the relay to the positive wire of the light. Now these two are being connected and disconnected because there is a circuit being connected and disconnected on the black and white wires of the relay. So on this one, we have our relay being powered coming out from the fuse block to the white wire. And then the circuit's continuing black wire to the switch. We're interrupting the negative side of this particular circuit. And so when we connect the circuit, we have a complete circuit between these two wires, the light turns on, light turns off, and light turns on with a switch. And we can really make this particular circuit as long as we want, really. Uh, we can stand you know, 20 feet away and turn the switch off and on, and the relay is going to be uh, controlling the light, and the switch over there is going to be controlling the relay. You generally will not actually connect the power wire to the relay uh, from its own specific fuse on the fuse block you can usually power the relay from the load wire coming in, which is this one. Let me show you how that looks. And now we have our very patriotic circuit right here and our switch over here. This is the same thing that I had going on just a second ago, except now we're powering both the coil inside of the relay and the actual load from the same power wire coming off of the fuse block. And this is fine, given that the fuse that's in the fuse block is sized appropriately as to protect all of the wires in the entire circuit, which in our case, it will be. And that is pretty much it. So we have our switch that's working to control our relay and our relay is controlling our lights. And that's pretty much all there is to this particular circuit uh, for a tabletop demonstration. Whenever we move into the van, we're actually gonna be doing three separate relays, all controlled by three separate switches so that we can control our Lightforce Rock 9 utility lights that are going to be on the side of the van, uh, left side, right side, and the rear of the van independently. So I'm going to go wire all this up in the van and then we're going to circle back around and show you how all this looks actually wired up.
Now that all of this is actually installed, let's talk about it. We measured and marked where all the lights would go. We created a template with some masking tape. We taped an envelope to catch our metal shavings. We drilled some holes and deburred where necessary and wiped all that down with alcohol and treated the holes with some Rust-Oleum paint. And then we repeated that for all of the lights. Then we put some sealant on all of the rubber mounts for the lights, pushed the wire through, and then put in our screws, bolts, and washers. And then we tightened all that up with a drill and a wrench. And once everything was actually installed on the side of the van, we moved inside to start the wire. Now that everything is wired up, let's do a system walkthrough of these three circuits, passenger, rear, and driver side. So all power is starting at our 100 amp hour battleborne lithium battery. We got temporarily down here. And it's coming up positive and negative wires that are going to where the fuse block will eventually permanently live. So through our fuse block, we've got positive and negative wires coming out to this mess right here. These are the two positive wires coming out of the fuse block that is powering these three circuits for our relays, okay? So power is coming in to these two five terminal or five, uh, five wire uh, lever nuts. And then the white wires is what's delivering power to each of the relays. So one, two, and three. And then the blue wires is what's powering the loads. So one, two, and three. So the blue wires are simply passing that power through the relay to these three wires that are going out to each of the individual circuits. One's going to driver, one's going to passenger, and one is going to the rear scene lights. So those are those wires there. Now, the way that the power actually goes through the relay is from the signal wires that we're seeing right here. So let's circle back around to the negative wire coming off of the fuse block. So negative wire from the fuse block is coming to this five terminal lever nut right here. And three of the wires are going off to the individual lighting circuits, driver, rear, and passenger. The other one is coming up through these wires along with these other three colored wires. We got a orange and pink and a a purple there and those are coming up this direction up to the front up here and the switches are going to live somewhere in this general vicinity of the headliner got a little bit of slack there so we can move them around as we need to the black wire right here or the negative wire is feeding one terminal of a single pull single throw switch right here and then it's coming out of each of the switches going to each of those colored wires that we were talking about just a second ago. Purple, uh, orange, and pink right there. And so what's happening there is these switches are breaking the negatives of each of the circuit. It's delivering negative, uh, it's delivering negative to each of, the, each of the switches. And then the switches, and then this, this lever nut is distributing the, that negative wire essentially up to each of these switches and then the switch is breaking that circuit into each of these negative wire, each of these colored negative wires here. So those are coming back up here, back to our relays. So we have pink, orange, and purple right here. And those are connecting to the black wires of the relays. 
So whenever there's a negative signal to any of these wires, this relay is going to close, which is going to combine the blue and red wires and send power to all the lights. Now I know this is pretty confusing and there's a lot of wires here and I wouldn't even say that this is particularly beginner friendly, but I do think that if you're trying to do more advanced wiring, this is definitely a skill that you need to learn how to do. So it's just one of those things that it's another tool that we can add to our arsenal to be able to turn off and on a circuit from a remote location by using relays. Now that our scene lighting is installed, we're actually going to do a full wiring wrap-up video so that we can show you a few additional circuits that did not get their own dedicated videos. That's coming up next week, so stay tuned. Now we hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, it would be awesome if you would share it with somebody or a group who you think could use it. Leave any questions you've got or new things you learned in the comment section below. And if this video inspired you to build something, be sure to tag your projects with the Explorers Life tag on Instagram so that we can see and share your projects. Subscribe if you want to see more DIY camper van building tutorials and we will see you in the next video.